and we talk Buffalo Bills. Now, I guess my thing would be with the Buffalo Bills. I'll start with you, Paul. Your your thoughts on minicamp. Is it much to do about nothing? Yes. Are we basically sitting <laughs> yes. here watching these guys just walk around, run around, and just say, hey, guess who showed up, guess who didn't show up? And we know why they didn't show up because they're in a contract dispute or they couldn't make it. I feel like mini camps are the way for the NFL to be on talk shows uh, in May and June. Uh, and, and people are going to make a lot about Everybody who what doesn't, happened, who didn't show who up, who didn't show up. That's the biggest news. Is <laughs> who didn't that, show the up. The only thing that is of importance is if someone gets hurt, which are pretty rare in, in minicamp, but or OT, you know, the organized team activity. I mean, it's it's fairly rare, but that's that's the news. I, people, when I back in my previous life at the DNC, we'd go. Everybody covered training camp. People I run into, you know, afterward would, oh, how they look today? They looked. Awesome. <laughs> they weren't wearing pads. They were seven on seven, and everybody cheered when the offense completed. And the no pass. one got hurt, basically. Yeah. They were amazing catches. It was great timing and everything. Of course, they look great. They're playing against themselves. <laughs> oh, yeah. If they don't look good, then we're really in trouble. Uh, yeah, that's that, that, that. Everybody looks great when they go to camp. Easy to make cuts then. Didn't you yeah. know for real if you're not in shape I miss, now? I miss the days of, of Gump Worsley reporting to North Star's, <laughs> North Star's training camp in Canada wearing. Wearing shorts, a t-shirt, dress socks, dress shoes, smoking a cigarette <laughs> with a cup of coffee in his hand, walking the two-mile run. <laughs> Wait, you're gonna mention Gump and not Cesar Maniago? <laughs> Caesar was running. Those, those, those days are over. Uh, what's interesting about this is the Buffalo Bills take on a brand new project, a wrestler, uh, a, a championship wrestler in uh Gable Stevenson is trying to make the team. Your thoughts on the possibility of a wrestler making the transition to the NFL? I see it in some positions, but trying to make it on the defensive line? I don't know. I mean, an amazing athlete. I mean, wrestlers mm-hmm. might be the best pound per pound athlete. Um, if, if, if anybody's going to make a team that would be a wrestler at, at that position, but basically you're wrestling with someone. Right. Big, I mean, he's not height. He doesn't have, but he's, he's, he's certainly strong. Just quickness. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's one of the big things off the edge. You know, be your guy, and now all of a sudden, now you're in the quarterback. So maybe it works. I don't mind the project. I mean, you have enough roster spots that you can have one that's sort of transition. Would you agree? Practice team. At the at the very least, mm-hmm. he's going to be on the practice squad, I would think, and and he's certainly going to provide some competition when they come to Fisher. And, and, and maybe why. it takes a year or two. So the practice squad thing makes sense. Yeah, I mean, give him some time. I mean, this is a totally different sport than when it comes to wrestling. But remember, you're competing with guys that have played this sport for years. somewhere. Maybe, but at any given time, it's, it's sort of like to go back to the sort of Caitlin Clark thing. These guys are professionals that have been working on their craft for years. You've come in with some wrestling of skills and ability. Don't get me wrong, but this is a totally different beast. And it's going to take some time. I would say probably a year, like you said, Paul, on the practice I think, squad. I think some of those skills, you know, it's, it's, it's not the same, but I think some of those skills translate, though, yeah. to when you're locking up with a guy to on the, on the line. And if you watch the drills and how the, the hand, you know, the motion and the movements with the hands and the, the technique that they have, I think some of those maybe translate well. Good. Well, and back to the whole Caitlin Clark thing. The the interesting thing about Caitlin Clark is you look at when the college season ends and when the WNBA season begins, there's no rest. At least with with Stevenson, he does have a chance to kind of work up to things yeah, here a little yeah. bit. And he does. There is a progression, and, and it should help him a little bit. 